I have a, a personal creed, I was a writer, that I don't like to write about places that I have not visited. I really feel that authenticity in fiction is extremely important. My new book is called The Book of Love. It's a spiritual thriller, and it is the second book in the Magdalene Lines series. The new book, The Book of Love, deals with an 11th century countess from Italy who is essentially the first modern woman. She's this extraordinary character named Matilda of Tuscany. The main character is on a quest to find this document called The Book of Love. The Book of Love is an actual document, something that existed, the Book of Love actually relates to a gospel that was written in Jesus' own hand. And the very existence of the Book of Love is a dangerous thing, um, and has been a dangerous thing throughout history. The more time that I spent in Europe and sort of gaining the trust of the people who I was interviewing, the more access I was given to information that has really never been public before. And I was given an amazing entree into some secret societies and I was able to put this information into my book. So one of the things that I think is very special about these stories is that much of the information that's being revealed here uh, is information that's never seen the light of day before outside of these secret societies. We're standing in front of a labyrinth. The labyrinth is a medieval prayer tool that was created um, in the medieval cathedrals, so for the most part right around the year 1200. When I first began doing my research, um, a number of threads led me to this specific cathedral outside of Paris, Chartres Cathedral. In this next book, The Book of Love, the labyrinth figures very prominently both to my modern character and to the medieval characters. But the way that it figures in is a very, very important part of the mystery, so that's all that I can tell you. I'm so excited about The Book of Love because everything about it is brand new. Everything about it is fresh. No one has ever seen any of these stories before. No one has ever seen this idea that there could have been a gospel written in Jesus' own hand. No one has ever looked at this idea of how that could have affected Europe. I mean, this is history reimagined, and that is so exciting. <laughs>